Welcome to a wonderfully splendid rainy day in the van. <laughs> the rain will not let up and I think it should in about an hour stop raining but it is like 9.30 now and it's been raining all night and I woke up in the middle of the night and my fan area started dripping so I put some towels there and I woke up to water being drizzled on William's back and he was so distraught by it. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Louie and this is my pity William. We live full time in my self-converted vintage Aerostar and are traveling the world, well, currently only the US. For the next few months, we will be living, working, and exploring in the southern United States, hoping to debunk stereotypes, learn some history, and eat some good southern food. Oh, and did I mention my mom and her pup are also along for the ride. Thanks for watching and subscribe to find out where we end up each week. So when it's a day like today, you're probably wondering, what do we do all day? since we live in such a small, tiny space. So today I figured that I would show y'all what we do on a day like this. It's not much different, except I feel like there's a lot more of cleaning William's paws before we get into the van. But yeah, what do we do all day in the forest, William? Like, I don't even really know. I have quite a bit of editing to do today, so that's gonna be my main shtick for today, but um, hopefully we can take a walk and make some food and just chill. Yeah, I just want to show y'all what it's like to be boondocking on National Forest Land. Ready to get up, Bubby. I'll go play in the rain. Canyon! Canyon! A pile of blankets, just leaving them in the front to make room for couch sitting in the back. Time to change out the water jugs again. It's that time. So much editing today so I'm going to get started on that. I just want to finish it up so that I can have the rest of the day to do whatever I feel like doing so we are going to get started here. Got my tea. I finally have given in to having a little more caffeine in my life on days like this where it's just so dreary and dark and you just want to stay in bed all day. Sometimes you just need kind of a like kick start to get your day a move in. Uh, constant comment, by far my favorite tea. Oh, hi, Bubby. You laying on the full for a blanket, chilling. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I don't deserve you, William. You're too perfect. I'd, I'd do anything for you. 
work tronic electronic gotta do my work work phonic do, do, do. work yeah it's very fun to try to upload videos when your service is at one bar um, I found a way to upload videos using my phone so that has made a huge difference in my upload speed and saves me a ton of hotspot data so yeah if you're out in the middle of nowhere trying to upload a video use your phone it works it's the same quality and everything it's pretty awesome <gasps> look what mom brought me on a whim the she... mango is just fancy it makes the plate look fabulous it does and it's <laughs> gonna be delicious <laughs> yummy thank Enjoy. you you're welcome <laughs> food for while you're editing thank you <laughs> looks like your girl better step it up and make some dinner tonight make some make a good dinner break time break time break time break time <laughs> even William was reluctant to come outside I was like had to call him to come out of the van he's like oh, it's wet and muddy out here I don't know how I feel about that oh. so I'm about two-thirds of the way done working today it is 1 and I'm trying to finish up the rest of this breaks are good and healthy so we're just gonna stand outside and get some fresh air for a bit. If it was a nice sunny day, I would come outside and work, but there's this nice table here. Yeah, it's a nice little table I could sit at, but it's so wet. I don't think William likes this. Do you not like being outside, William? Is it too wet? He's like, I'm gonna go back in the van. Let's go over here, come on, let's run. Let's play. Let's enjoy the day. Here we go, yet another day of yoga. I think this is day 21. Day 21 of yoga, three weeks of yoga. I definitely feel stronger. Lady could come sit with us while we do yoga. Lady, she doesn't like hanging out with us. She doesn't like us. She doesn't like being outside. Especially when it's like wet and stuff. <laughs> Lady's like nature. One star. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why, lady? Yeah, so she likes to lay on soft things, but little does she know that this is kind of soft uh -huh. and nice. Luckily for us, we have this little mat here. Yeah. William, William jumps on here immediately. <laughs> He's like, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Just for me. Um, hi, Will Be. You need to not be over here, though. I've broken my hug. Oh, baby. Oh, he smells so good. He smells oh, like she... pee to me. He doesn't smell like pee to me. He smells a lot better than Lady does. <laughs> well, Lady has a yeast thing. Yeah, she has skin problems. Okay, I over wish there. Lady would come out here. I know. She really didn't want to. I asked her to. <gasps> Rude. Come on, come here, Lady. lady. Over here. Lady. Over here. <gasps> oh, William. William. She doesn't like that. She's old lady. now. Lady, over here. Good. Lady needs to come outside. Yeah. Okay, lady, but don't lick yourself the whole time. Hey! Oh my god. Honestly, though, I am tired. You, doing this many days of yoga in a row is like kind of exhausting, and you wouldn't think so because it's just yoga, but because uh, we're training our muscles and my body is like. And plus, I mean, I guess I'm sitting in the van for the same. I'll feel better after. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's good to stretch. All right. Here, you can lean it against. I love it when she says that. What's up, party people? She's so we'll feel better after. Oh, well, I promise we'll feel better. You're like, you're gonna feel better, and I'm like, oh. I know. It is hard getting going. I'm just gonna sit like this. <laughs> It's so weird seeing you without glasses on. I don't have my bra on. I know, right? I, don't I look like naked in the face? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> okay, we got this. Yoga mats, guys. Nasty stuff comes off of there. Ew, yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> William likes his foot. <laughs> He's cleaning it. He's cracking me up. 
Well, it feels good to be done for today. So the thing about being out in nature when the sun goes down super early is that you do your days of work and then it's over and then the sun starts to go down. Then you can't really do very much other than just like hang out in your van. It's days like these that you want to cuddle up and watch a movie. I think we're going to go on a walk, watch a movie, and then make dinner. Do some cuddling. It's cuddle weather. Even in a van, you need to be able to cuddle. A little empty campsite. <laughs> hey mom I think I might watch a movie and then I'll cook some dinner okay yeah sound good sounds good to me. there's little old Coco hanging out in the grass I'm so grateful for this little home I have she's so small but I don't know in the inside I always feel very very cozy inside I love my little home my little vintage home. Not more than what I need. Just exactly what I need. Home. I love you, home. I love it when I can have my windows open like this. It's the best. Just opens the space up. All right. You hungry, bud? Thirsty? Let's get you. Let's get you. Your live station. Oh, no. And then your dog jumps all over with the mud before you get to wipe them off. <laughs> William, you wetted the van before I could even wipe your feet off. That's just van life with a dog. Here, let me give you some more food, bud. We're coming up on seven months in this van and it's hard to believe. And as well as as well as being involved with the van life community and like nomadic community for almost three years. I've been traveling around, moving around for almost three years now. And time has really passed really quickly, but it just doesn't feel like it, it's been that long. Like, but if you really actually sit down and start thinking about all of the places that have been in the past three years. Almost, it's kind of wild. And the fact that I've been in this van for seven months now, that's also wild too. It's just crazy. That seven months went by so quickly. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, what is time? We've been many a place in this van and so excited to see where we go next. We're, we're going to be headed to Florida soon um, to spend the rest of the winter in somewhere, a place warm, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, she's been hitting me so hard right now how long we've been on the road already. And it feels like it's been two minutes, but then sometimes it feels like it's been an eternity. It just depends on the day. But right now, it feels like it's been a long time. Yeah, I'm just sipping that water sipping that good old H2O and I'm probably going to watch a movie or something now. I'm so sleepy. This weather just makes me all cozy. I miss campfires. I miss, I just love camping. I just love boondocking in the forest so much. <laughs> forest boondocking is the way to go. I like the cities and stuff, but for me, being out in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like listening to the sounds of the crickets and the frogs and the wind through the trees and I don't know, just hanging out and being peaceful and having space for William to run around if he feels like it, but also at the same time, he doesn't usually do that unless I'm outside with him. He has to be like right next to me all the time, which I don't mind. But I'm like, you should go be free and run outside. He also really does not like cold and wet. 
things. It's so funny. He's way more high maintenance than even I am. <laughs> but I think it's kind of my fault. I, I, I allow that to happen. It's pretty much what a work day in the forest is like. Um, I definitely prefer working out here over working in a city. Oh, it's so quiet and peaceful. So I've had some people asking us how we cook in our vans. Um, today I'm cooking in my van and I'll show you how I cook in such a tiny space, but I am making dinner. So I have my little tiny cook stove, which I've had for almost three years now. It is kind of dirty and um, old, but, and a little rusty, but it works. Everything that's important that needs to be working works. So I'm just gonna make something simple. Usually when I cook in here, for the both of us, I'll cook something really simple. Um, today, I'm going to cook some lemon garlic kale because you gotta get that iron. And I don't know if I have enough bread for this. Let me look. Oh, I do! I'm going to make us some grilled, vegan grilled cheeses with some tomato on it and some pesto. Wait, no, I ate all the pesto. Yeah, that'll be our dinner. Super cheap, super simple, and nutritious. So my fridge, you can't open this it up all the way, but I've gotten, I've adapted to it, and it's pretty easy now for me to be able to fetch things from the fridge. It's a little, it's a little, you know, stretch. Looks like I definitely need to go to the grocery store tomorrow. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna cook this up and I'll show you how I do it. So when I cook, I like to prep all of my ingredients first, just to make sure that, just to have them all ready to go. I mean, I think that's what you would do in a normal kitchen anyways. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut all my ingredients and when I cook in here, I try to like keep everything really neat and put things away as I go and like throw like extra like vegetable scraps and stuff away. Just making sure I keep it nice and neat. So yeah, I'm gonna cut some garlic, some onion, and then I'm gonna put that in my pan and then I'm gonna put my kale in there and my lemon. that beautiful kale. So green. Tiniest lid ever. <laughs> That's just basically how I cook in here. The best way to cook in a tiny space is just to cook really simple stuff. And thankfully, um, eating mostly plant-based um, makes it really easy to cook. Um, I would never personally cook meat or fish or things like that in my van, but, because it's just too pungent. Not that I eat meat. I mean, I eat fish, but <laughs> occasionally, but being in the van, you kind of just are course to be a little bit more plant-based which hey is not a bad thing mom's coming over for dinner I'm excited to see what she thinks I didn't tell her what we're having for dinner yeah I never in my life thought I'd be like oh yeah I'm in camping out in Mississippi 
That's beautiful here. Mm -hmm. The thing is, like, it's very green. I always had like this stereotype in my mind that like Mississippi was like swamp. Uh, parts of it are, I think. And, well, I guess there are bayous and things mm -hmm. here, but but like I always thought it was just like only swamp yeah. just people living in houses along rivers that's so messed up of me to like think that but that's the truth that's what i thought well that's why traveling is so important so that we can see the reality versus what we yeah. see on tv or have reading books or fictional books you know like i did not expect a whole ponderosa pine field to be here it's so beautiful like i didn't even know these trees could grow at this elevation i had no idea you should look at it outside outside right now it's super pretty it's like foggy mm, that's one of those creepy barefoot of... monsters come out no barefoot like, is from minnesota it's like beautiful or bigfoot mm -hmm. creepy well, i've never been to south carolina or north carolina i'm looking me neither god the beaches there are really pretty i think maybe i um, hear uh we about to see some <laughs> cicadas this summer i want to go to Asheville, north carolina okay also yeah Asheville, north carolina is where the moog i know i say this all the time but that's where the moog uh, synthesizer um factory is and i want to save my money up enough to buy like a mother 32 or something straight from the factory straight hot off the press it's right near the border of tennessee um not, uh, Asheville. Yeah, we could go to Nashville too. We could. I do want to go to Nashville. Like, I don't really like country music. Like, I won't. You won't hear me listening to country music, but I do like some of the old school stuff. Like, it's so soulful, you yeah. know. Like, it's good music. I feel like it's just a cool city too. For mm -hmm. I just never thought I would go to any of these places. I'm kind of excited though, because like I want to see what the U.S. is really like, you know. Thanks for the cuddles. <laughs> Him cute. You're so cute. Say hi, William. <laughs> he just sitting on top of me. <laughs> oh, you go cute. You're squishing me. Well, it is about that time to say good night and thank you for watching. And as of filming this video, I have hit 10,000 subscribers. I just can't believe that we're at this point. Like, I never thought that I would make it to this number ever. So this is really awesome. I can't believe there's that many of you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and coming back and commenting and giving me advice and supporting and everything. So y'all are what helped to support me while I'm on the road. So <laughs> thank you so much. You inside that camera there, I love ya. I love you so much. I just wanna hug you so tight squeeze you until you can't be squeezed no more okay that was weird um <laughs> anyways we are going to hit the hay and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye mm -hmm.